Okay, so welcome to part four, I'm guessing. Uh, what we've done now is basically just deckling or halfway, probably. Uh, I kind of did three decals because if you remember uh, ages ago, I did the um, the Fujimi one, and the decals were well. There's no like a number parts to tell you where it should not go where or nothing like that. So. I kind of messed up on that one. So I've had to take the time and just look through the decals and which one goes where and that. And so this is what it's come up with. We've got the smallest ones on the fuselage. Second, second biggest top wing. And the most biggest on the wing. That's how it goes. But uh, they've been on there for about half an hour now. And they are absolutely drying really, really well to say then wow absolutely brilliant so yeah I'm just basically just going to do some deckling on this thing like always using the uh, Humbrol decal fix and I have to say it's absolutely marvellous what it's doing to this thing the only problem is I'd say that because the panel lines are like and the rivets are like I don't know it's a thing I've had to get a, a cotton bud or swab, whatever you want to call it, and that to rub it in to the fuselage halves, actually like properly along the edge like that to get it all in, because it softens it and just goes in like that. So there you are, that's what I've done in that. Uh, there's only one problem with the decals um, that I'm putting on. There's normally there's a red band that goes around here to say like not to put your feet on there because it's the flaps and that. Uh, this, these decals don't give you that. Uh, they basically give everything else apart from them. So I'm just wondering at the minute, what do I do? Do I leave them off? What I've had a look online and some people have done, or do I actually just just paint some on? Probably, I don't know. Just let me know, and we'll see. Well. Oh, I mean, let me know. This part, this part will probably be done by. You know what I mean? I'll just figure out what to do. But apart from that, that's really it. What I'm just doing at the minute, because yeah, I'm just wondering what there is to do. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just waiting for this decal to soften up. That goes on this other side of the fuselage. Now the decal mark option, like I said in part one, absolutely brilliant. So let me just get you the instructions. I'll just move this out of the way a second. Uh, you can see there's plenty of marking options along here and that. And then furthermore, because it doesn't give you the proper colour coordinations, it gives you this tiny little sheet with just a few examples of what you want to do on it. Uh, like you, That's not the box art one. The one I saw a guy did, he did this version. Now the, the green colours versions do look nice, but I'm doing the khaki scheme marking option. So there you are, and these are all the ones, the thing, the problem is though, there's just like, no colour, like, schemes with them, if you get what I mean. Yeah, you get what I mean, don't you? Just, they're just, they have all the squadron markings, and you can go and have a look at these aircraft online, but they are difficult to find, and that lot. So that's where it is, the decals. Um, I have to apologise if it weirdly skips, because... When I was filming the previous parts, the battery just died. I didn't even give me a warning or anything, so I kind of just had to carry on where I am. So I've added these to there because I'm just going to add the ones underneath. Now, I have to say, after leaving them to dry, they've turned out really, really beautifully, actually. Uh, there's like, there's only a touch of silvering on the edges, or on this underwing at the minute. But in theory, there's nothing like else to it really. It's just all there. So, yeah, the, the like I said, the decals have different numbers on. So, you have to be careful of which ones you put down anywhere and stuff like that. So, 
Yeah, so it is. The let's have a look. Yeah, like I said, the I'm not sure what to do about this part around here because yeah, if I if I forgot to mention that first part, I'm sorry. But there's no red mark like like strips around there to say like don't walk on there and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to paint them on. I think that's one downside to it. Apart from that, everything is there. It looks absolutely fab. I really do enjoy like building this now because it looks fabulous. Uh, that's not gonna be dry for another minute or so. I haven't started on the engine parts yet, but I will get to them very much soon. I mean, let's just get the cone here. Uh, that fits on beautifully, but it's just a, it's a bit too thick for where it sits on because they can kind of fit nicely through there, but from where they sit, it looks as though this goes stop the machine guns coming from coming machine bullets coming through. Sorry. So yeah, it looks absolutely fab. Uh, the decals have really dried nice, I don't know if you can see them light or not, but they've really dry, dried around those panels and the the rivets there, they're absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm really actually enjoying this build now, I'm really determined, this has got my mojo back, definitely. So that's how it is, so I'm just, let's just cut up the other bits now. Most of them in here are actually already done for me. Uh, they're the ones with squadron marking I'm using. Um, what else have we got in here? Alright, underneath here, yeah, let's have a look. I don't need them, they can stop in there. That can go back in there. Now, I do need this one here. So let's get my knife. I mean, I'll just cut this, put this red band out. Now, I know you could paint it on, but. I'm actually going to see how good this is because they've done well on those dials and it should do really well on you know them. So that's how it is. Let's go cut this square out here. Like that. Like so. There you are. I'm just going to, yeah, go around cutting each every one out. So, let's have a look at these. They do actually give you uh, a bit of principle of whereabouts everything goes. For example, these actually go uh, just there, actually. So, that's actually really kind of them to do that. You don't, I don't see them in the Tamaya kit. Which, yeah, apparently the decals from Fujimi are actually really good. I keep saying it, but it's the truth. Uh, yeah, that's really it, I think. That's really it for the minute, so what main decals need to go on. So. No, it's not me. I thought it was someone messaging me, but it's not. Uh, just thinking. I think they go on the wing area, but I'm going to have a look for them in a, in a minute to see how they fit on. Where's this? Yeah, look, absolutely brilliant decals. And they actually come off much easier than what I first thought they would have done. Look at that, just that's that's ready to come off straight away. Wow. So once again just dip this off. See where it goes. Goes back there. Like so. Not in the right place there, so you just have to just move it about a bit. Like 
Ah, oh, that's perfect. Right where I wanted it. I could go a bit that way. Like that. That's perfect. That's right where I wanted it. I'm just going to move it up. Just touch like that. Just going to press down firmly on this. Like that, so that's what you do for these decals because they're actually quite thin. Actually, just gonna move this a bit, just touch. Right, that's it. Just gonna take a cotton board. Now just add a bit of that in the bottom. I'm just gonna, well first off just gonna let go really really soft about the minute just get rid of all those air bubbles in the film there. Like that. So that's how it goes so it's gonna be one long progress what to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into time lapse and hopefully it should be looking like a proper hold on a second sorry a proper aircraft so with that I shall crack on with this and see where it leads us to Recognise this in a much nicer colour. You could have recognised it in. Yeah, I kind of went to because the uh, battery kind of died. Once again, I'm just not sure how it's going to show up. I know the panel lines are going absolutely really nice. Not sure about those rivets though. Oh, the decals. So, once again, you know what? Get rid of this. It's better. Just wipe off with this. See what comes out now. I don't want to get rid of too much of it because I still want the rivet detail shown through a bit. So I'm just gonna gradually keep wiping all this off here, yeah. like so. So I still, I still want the majority of it off, but not all of it. If you get what I mean. So. Dump it a bit, yeah, again. It's like so. It's such a pretty, such a pretty difficult. I want to thought it would. Hold on a second. Wow. Oh. It's probably because I've left it a bit longer this side than the others. Yeah, because I, I did this side and this, I went off and did something and came back and did it. I did the other sides. So this, guy, this side's been left longer than the others. Plus it doesn't help with those rivets, does it, really? I suppose. Wow, this is a long progress normally. Wow, what's wrong with this? It's not coming off at all. Wow, what's... Hmm. This 
actually much tougher than what I thought it would have done. Actually, tougher. do I need to add a bit of water to this? Like so. Wow, this, yeah, I'm sorry for not talking, I'm just actually absolutely shocked, it's not, it's not coming off hopefully though, what I thought it would have We'll just come off very, very slowly. A minute. It's actually taking some scrubbing work to do. I'm not sure whether it's because this is this side's had like more time to dry, like I said. But wow, this is. Pain. It's becoming an absolute pain. That's not coming off. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry about that. Look here, it's absolutely fine. Because. Yeah, that's fine, that looks that side, it's just this. Wow. Right, you change the paper. Right, I'm going to put this to time lapse and hopefully we can solve this matter out. Well, I managed to get most of the wash off anyway, and that's what it's come to. So, in a way I'm happy about the result, in a way I'm not, because I want it a bit cleaner, to be honest. So not used much, which is actually surprising for me, that is. But anyway, um, I did have a look online, and there was actually a couple of um, zeros in this camouflage that were like a bit weathered and that. So, I thought, why not, just keep it like this. Um, I painted the uh, machine guns at the front there and it actually looks really nice. I was hoping them to be a bit longer as they originally were but there you go, that's how it is. Right, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to just peel this off, reveal all that lovely detail that's still in the cockpit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a matte wash, basically everything. Now, actually, oh, where the hell is it? It's down here. Give me a second. Oh, don't tip that out. Give me a second. It is, if I can find it. You know when you look for something, you can't find it. That's what it comes to. Uh, I'm going to use that. Now, normally I don't use this, but it's um, Tamiya's. XF's 86 flat clear. Now, I do very, very, very thin coats with this um, over the model zine. I do, again, uh, about 
a 30% this and 70% thinner to it, so that's going to be alright. Um, so I'm going to do that, so I'm going to give it a matte varnish and see how it comes out and hopefully it should look awesome. Right, so I've got the zero matte varnish and I have to say it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, now I've toned down all those, uh, the rivets and anything else like that, and the wash, it looks really nice. I still, normally I have my aircraft really flat, but in this one I actually wanted a bit of shine on it to give it a new kind of look to it. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty well. That's it, underside, absolutely beautiful yet again. No problem, just a bit of shine because they were made of aluminium metal or Americans aluminum. So yeah. Right, well that kind of ends this part. The next part have to be the engine now. We can actually move on to finishing this bird. And with that, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you very much later. So as always, cheers and goodbye for now.